Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to save battery on iOS 26 by following these tips. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is for you go into your setting, and then you're going to go ahead and look for display and brightness, and then scroll down a little bit further and look for the always on display. Now if you happen to use always on display, which basically keeps the display on all the time, it's actually consuming battery. So consideration is to turn it off to again save battery now the next thing you want to look at going back to the main settings here you go to general and then scroll down to background app refresh now I have this turned off already but if you were to have this setting turned on basically all of these apps can be consuming battery in the background it even says it right here turning off apps may help preserve your battery life so I usually turn it off and all it is, each time you open the app, you're going to refresh the content anyways. So you constantly don't need to run it in the background, consuming your battery. The next thing you want to consider is, again, in the general section here, AirDrop. Is you're going to see that AirDrop is on by default by contacts only. You want to turn receiving off. This way the phone isn't constantly basically having that airdrop feature open, which means it consumes the battery. I usually turn it off, and if you ever need to turn it on, you can always pull down that control menu, click right here in the middle, and then you can go ahead and turn airdrop on from here, and then turn it off as well. Now, another thing you wanna go ahead and review is going back to the main setting here. It's gonna be under privacy and security, and specifically location service. If you have this turned on, great no problem but what you want to do is go down and look at apps that are using your location usually apps don't require location you want to select never and you're going to go review that list because when they're on they're running the gps which again consumes battery quicker and if you turn it off it will save you battery now other thing you also don't want to look in there in the system services here you're going to look for thinking of significant location and route this basically tracks your significant location. However, this can also consume a lot of battery. So I usually turn this setting off. Again, great way to save battery as well. And then let's go back here. Other thing you might want to consider turning off is this one for iPhone analytics for product improvement. Uh, and then the other ones you really don't need. I usually just turn these off because this is only sending data to Apple and you may not really care about that, so it will save you battery as well. Now another thing you also wanna go ahead and check out is going back to our main settings here, and we're gonna look for Apple Intelligence and Siri, and specifically here, we're gonna look for the option. Let's go ahead and take a look at options here. So we're gonna see a couple of things here, is if you're using Siri, this is great, but consider, you may be possibly consider turning off Apple Intelligent because it is known to take power on your device. Again, if you use it, that's fine, but if you really want to go down and save your battery, maybe you're going down quicker, you just want to make sure you preserve it, you can always turn this off and always turn it back on when you need it. It will save a ton of battery as well. Now, along with that, the next thing you want to consider, minor things, may not have considered is that if you upgrade to iOS 26, it's always good to make sure all of the apps are also updated to the compatible version because if they're running an older version, they might be running inefficiently. So go to the App Store and simply go to your profile here and look to see if there's updates for app. I would recommend updating all of the apps right off the bat. And this ensures that you get the latest version of the app that's compatible with iOS 26 and running as smoothly and efficiently as well. Now, another thing you also want to go ahead and consider is check in the settings, general software update. Make sure you update it. Sometimes uh, because iOS 26 is new, there are issues that are addressed and those issues can drain your battery. And you want to go ahead and update if there's an update available. Now, once you have updated, the other thing you also want to consider, this is a way to save battery, is that if you're really running low when you want to save battery in your setting, you can always go to the battery and click on power mode here and then you want to turn on low power mode this reduces certain functionality like the refresh rate the processing speed the brightness and even 5g and cloud syncing which will again ensure that your battery is not draining 
as quick. It'll also preserve the battery, which will ensure you have a longer run on the battery, but the performance will be slightly slower. So these are all different ways to save battery on your, on your iPhone on iOS 26. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.